Okay, hello everybody, I'm gonna teach you today how to solve for this integral here, and we're going to start right now. So what's going on? My name is Muhammad. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to know more about how to solve brain teasers, riddles, logic puzzles, viral math problems, and all type of mathematics related stuff, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so the problem is to try to solve for this integral here. We have x squared in the numerator and in the denominator we have x sine x plus cosine x all squared. So I'll give you some time to think about it. So what you do, pause this video, give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching this video for a solution. So now to solve this problem, I will try to make the numerator here the derivative of the denominator. Okay, so I will start by differentiating the squared term here and then see what happens. Okay, so solution. So first of all, I will try to differentiate the term in the denominator, which is x sine x plus cosine x. Okay, and that's going to be equal to x cosine x plus sine x, and the derivative of cosine is minus sine x. So x, sine x is going to get canceled with sine x, and then we're going to be left out with x cosine x. So this is going to be equal to x cosine x. Okay, but now we have in the numerator here we have x squared we don't have x cosine x so uh, to make uh, so we can write x squared we can rewrite x squared as x cosine x multiplied by x over cosine x so we'll do that okay so the original integral and I will call it i can be rewritten as uh, x cosine x all divided by x sine x plus cosine x all raised to the power 2 squared okay and then we can multiply this with x over cosine x so cosine x is going to get cancelled with cosine x and we're going to be left out with x squared so this is equal to the original integral so all of this dx and then we can proceed forward using integration by parts. We differentiate this and we assume that this is going to be u and this is dv. Okay, and we proceed forward. Okay, so let u equals x over cosine cosine x. Okay. And then du is going to be equal to uh, cosine x times 1 minus x uh, multiplied by minus cosine x so that's gonna be make it plus here sine x all divided by cosine squared x so d okay u du so this is dx okay and then dv is going to be equal to x cosine x all divided by uh, x sine x plus cosine x all squared so v is going to be equal to okay so here we have this term here and we have its derivative there so we can proceed forward with the u substitution so this is going to be equal 1 over u squared so uh, so that's going to be equal uh, it's it's integration is going to be equal to minus 1 over u okay so this is going to give us minus 1 over u and u is x sine x plus 
cosine x. Okay, and then we can proceed with the uh, integration by parts. Okay, so the integration i is going to be equal to u dv, and that's going to be equal to uv minus the integration of v du. So v is going to be equal to minus x over cosine x, cosine x here multiplied by this denominator here, x sine x plus cosine x. Okay, and then minus uh, v du and the beauty here is that this numerator here this denominator here gets cancelled with the numerator here and we're going to be left out with minus 1 over cosine x squared and we have minus so that that's going to be plus so uh, minus the integration of minus 1 over cosine squared x dx okay and the second integral here is nothing but uh, 1 over cosine squared is secant squared, and that's tan. Okay, so this is going to be equal to, same first part here, minus x over cosine x multiplied by the same term here, x sine x plus cosine x. Okay, and then... The second term is going to be equal to 1 plus uh, the integration of secant square x dx. Okay, and the integration of uh, secant square x is nothing but tan x simply. Okay, so that's going to give us the same first term, which is minus x over cosine x multiplied by x sine x plus cosine x okay and the second term is going to be equal to tan x plus tan x plus a, a constant c okay now this is uh, okay but we can simplify we can uh, rewrite okay the term here and simplify it in a nicer form by uh, replacing 10x by sine x over cosine x and then we can get the least common multiple and uh, put it in a nicer form so that's what we're going to do okay so this is going to be equal to the same first term minus x over cosine x multiplied by uh, x sine x plus cosine x okay plus 10x is is sine x over cosine x plus c okay so now we can uh, we can simplify this more okay by uh, the least common multiple is going to be equal to cosine x multiplied by x sine x plus cosine x okay so if we divide this term here on this term here uh, then we're gonna that's gonna give us one so we're going to be left out with uh, minus x here so minus x and then if we uh, divide this here over cosine cosine is gonna get cancelled with cosine so we're going to be uh, multiplying this term here with sine x so that's gonna give us uh, uh, x sine squared x x sine squared x plus uh, sine x cosine x plus the constant c and here we can take x as a common factor so that's going to give us uh, x multiplied by sine squared x minus 1 plus sine x cosine x over the same term the same denominator cosine x multiplied by x sine x plus cosine x plus the constant 
c. Okay, now this term here, sine squared x minus 1, is nothing but cosine squared x. So this is going to be equal to x cosine squared x plus sine x cosine x over the same denominator, which is cosine x, x sine x plus cosine x plus the constant term c. Okay, now we can get, uh, we can take cosine x as a common factor here, and then that's going to get cancelled with cosine x, so we're going to be left out with x cosine x plus sine x over x sine x plus cosine x plus c, and that's the final solution. Well, thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything in the future. If you have another way to solve for this integral, then please leave it down here in the comments below to help other people that might watch this video. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.